Dear students, now we are going to discuss about exponential signal and its applications. Exponential signal represents an exponentially increasing and decreasing the values of the signal. That means exponentially. Exponentially means it is nothing but the rabbit change of the parameters of the signal with respect to time duration. Okay. There are two types of exponential signal. One is real exponential. Another one is complex exponential. So let's discuss one by one now. Let's see real exponential signal. A real exponential signal is defined as x of t is equal to capital A e power small a t. Here this capital A represents the amplitude of the signal. Okay, this is the amplitude of the signal. This small a, it is mainly used to define the shape of the exponential signal. So here we can have different cases for this small a representation. So here consider if the small a is equal to 0, what will happen? So, x of t is equal to a e power a t. Here a is equal to 0 means e power 0. So, e power 0 is equal to 1. That is equal to a, a alone. Okay. At that time, the exponential signal can be represented like a DC signal. So, how do we define this amplitude? In this exponential signal means where the signal curve crosses the y-axis. That is what the amplitude of the signal. Okay. So, here we have to consider x-axis is the time, y-axis is the amplitude. So, consider the next case. So, in that case, if that a is greater than 1, what will happen? If a is positive, then the signal x of t is a growing exponential or we can say the signal is exponentially growing signal. Exponentially growing means here we can consider this is what the time, this is what the amplitude. So here, so if it is a is equal to 1, we can say x of t is equal to a e power t. If it is a is equal to 2 means a e power 2t. If this a is positive values, what will happen? That value is increasing with respect to time. Correct. So, this value is greater than the previous value. So, here the curve looks like this. This is what exponentially grow, growing one. So, here that amplitude can be identified like this. Okay. So, where it crosses that y-axis. So, this is what the amplitude of the signal. Okay. So, that is a next one case. So, in this one, if a is less than 1, a is less than 1, that means a is negative. Then, the signal is a decaying signal. We can say that as a signal is exponentially decreasing. This is what exponentially decreasing 1. So, for this case, x of t is equal to a e power minus a into t. So, minus whenever it is negative, it is exponentially decreasing 1. This is what real exponential. One is complex exponential signal. In real time application, maximum we are using the concept of complex exponential signal. So, here it is the complex valued function of t. So, general form of exponential signal is representing like this. Here there is a. Okay, that is amplitude. So, x of t is equal to capital A e, e into that is exponent of s into t. Okay, so maximum in case of uh, basic standard signal we can consider this a amplitude is equal to 1 for unit signals or else we can take the amplitude whatever given. Okay. So, here this is the general form of 
complex exponential signal e power s into t where the parameter s is equal to sigma plus j omega that is very important complex valued means what it has both real and imaginary it has both real and imaginary here sigma is the real omega is the imaginary part okay so we can write this general form in terms of complex valued signal so x of t is equal to a into e power sigma plus j omega into t correct that s can be replaced this s can be replaced by the complex valued signal so we can write like this so a into e power sigma t into e power j omega t using euler's identity we can write so e power j omega t is equal to cos omega t plus j sin omega t because whenever there is a imaginary part then only we can apply this euler's identity okay it is not suitable for this real part so we can write this expression the complex valued signal like this also x of t is equal to a e power sigma t so this part is purely real part and this is what okay e power sigma t into cos omega t plus j sin omega t if you are going to multiply inside this okay a e power sigma t cos omega t plus a e power sigma t into j sin omega t so this is purely real and this is purely imaginary this is what complex exponential signal so this is the definition for this general form of complex exponential is a into e power s t where that s that parameter is equal to complex value function the complex value function means what real and imaginary part we can have the different cases okay different cases with respect to the value of this s so let's consider case 1 in that case s is equal to 0 s is equal to 0 means sigma also 0 omega is also 0 at that time we can write the exponential signal is equal to a, a into e power 0 is equal to a so for this we can have the signal like this it is nothing but dc signal in the second case if s is equal to minus sigma s is equal to minus sigma means omega is equal to 0 it has only the real part so x of t is equal to a into e power s is equal to only minus sigma into t because omega is equal to 0 so this signal can be represented like this okay x of t can be represented like this so in this case due to this minus sigma value it is exponentially decreasing signal exponentially decreasing signal so next consider the third case so in this case s is equal to plus sigma there is no imaginary part at that time x of t that is exponential signal is equal to a into e power plus sigma t okay so at that time the given signal can be drawn like this okay that is exponentially growing signal okay exponentially growing signal it is purely real exponential since that imaginary part is equal to 0 okay so next case consider s is equal to plus or minus j omega there is no real part so sigma is equal to 0 sigma is equal to 0 means x of t is equal to a e power plus or minus j omega if it is you can say okay a is the amplitude you know that right if it is plus j omega what will happen e power j omega plus j omega we can write what is that it is cos omega plus j sin sorry it is t 
t is also there right cos omega t plus j sin omega t correct so this imaginary part alone can be represented in terms of sinusoidal okay do you all understand so here the signal is having only the imaginary part that is e power plus or minus j omega t means it is represented by the sinusoidal signal so this is what x of t the amplitude can be represented like this this is a this one is minus a is that okay so next one is if suppose the signal is having both parameter real and imaginary what will happen if the signal is having both real and imaginary so at that time based on that value we can say so x of t is equal to a e power sigma plus j omega into t so we have already represented by using the euler's formula right so a e power sigma t into what is that cos omega t plus j sin omega t so here the signal is considered like this as a noise signal the signal can be decreased it, it, it is represented by the sinusoidal because of that imaginary part okay it can be either decreasing wave or it can be either increasing wave if sigma is equal to uh, if sigma is having the negative values means it is decreasing if sigma is greater than suppose sigma is greater okay with that imaginary means the same signal can be represented like this because it is increasing okay so this all are the different types of exponential signals exponential signals are mainly used to, to analyze the population growth exponential decay of uh, the bacteria viral uh, kind of things and carbon date artifacts carbon date artifacts means especially in the field of excavation and uh, archaeological thing and compute that investments in uh, trading banking domain so this are the major applications of exponential signal and uh, particularly we can say that examples with that examples exponential growth of the bacteria exponential decay means radioactive substances and activity decays in an exponential manner so this all are the applications of exponential signals in real time world